of the, uh, the of God across the globe in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I want us to begin to pray right now and begin to thank God and begin to worship God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. We give you thank praise you, and Jesus. glory in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your blessing, O oh Lord, over this nation and the nation across the globe in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to thank the Lord. Let's begin to worship him and begin to say, God, we commit the nation of the earth to you in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, we speak your mandate, we yes, speak your mind, yes, we speak all yes, of your will in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to thank God in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to thank God in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. You are highly exalted in the name of Jesus. All power belongs to you in the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you at this moment in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the name of Jesus. Right now, I want us to sing a song, and it's by the Natalie Bassi. I do not have a copyright to this song. As we sing this song, and believe that the power of God will come down. All power belongs to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you, Lord. Mali Broshika, it's time of worship. Hmm. Mm, I want us to worship Lord. Mm, mm. Father, we give you praise. Let's be in the worship mode. Father, we just give you praise, Lord. Power belong to you. Alone, all power belongs to you. Alone, all power belongs to you. Alone, all power belongs to you. Alone, Alone. you are spoken. Twice have I have all power belong to you alone. Hallelujah. When you have spoken, you surely come to pass. All power belong to you alone. All power. Let's sing to know the Lord. To you and alone, all power belongs to you alone, all power belongs to you alone, all power belongs to you alone. Once you are spoken, all you can know, all power belongs to you alone. When you are spoken, it will surely come to pass. Hallelujah, all power belongs to you alone. All power belongs to you alone. Let's begin to worship God. All power belongs to you alone. All power belongs to you alone. All power belongs to you alone. Hey. Mm -hmm. 
said all authority has been given unto me all power belong to god and that power he has given it to us hallelujah and as a believer we need to exercise our power we need to exercise our authority in the book of luke chapter 10 verse 19 i have here you know we are doing family uh, devotion so you're going to be hearing the voice from the uh, background so we tonight we are going to be sharing the word of god and we are going to go into prayer section. Hallelujah. We are going to share the word of God. And we are going to go into prayer section. All power belongs to God. And I want you to know at this time and this season. You need the word of God. Mm -hmm. You need not only the word of God. You need revelation. Mm -hmm. You need the revelation of the word of God. To come into you. Wherever you are. You need the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So today we're going to be sharing an interesting and uh, we're going to see what is at the beginning and what is the enemy. Now, God told us that, is, that we need to, three types of people that God is looking for at this moment. It's a tough. God is looking for people of faith. You know, you need to be a person of faith for you to walk in supernatural and in victory at this moment in time. You know, faith in God. You need not to entertain fear. No fear. God is looking for people who can stand in, in their faith with God. Hallelujah. Because faith and fear are opposite. Hallelujah. It is impossible for faith and fear to coexist equally in our life. So we need to be a people of faith. Hallelujah. Faith is very important. And we are people of faith. The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, it says, we live not by sight, but by faith. We walk in faith. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, it says, we live the life, O Lord, of faith in the, in, in, in the Son of God. Hallelujah. And that is what God wants us to do, to live the life of faith, irrespective of what is happening around us. Because what the enemy wants to do is to make you move into the fear zone. And when you are in the fear zone, what you see is, you, uh, you will see defeat, you will see failure. When you move into the faith zone, which is the zone of God, you will see victory. Hallelujah. God bless you for joining in. And uh, we are live in and direct from Kent in UK. Hallelujah. And God will bless you. So, number one, a people of faith. Number two, God is looking for a people of prayer. We were an intercessor. He's looking for somebody to raise an altar, even in a time like this. Hallelujah. God is looking for people of prayer and people who have boldness to come into the throne room of God by the blood of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Hebrew, chapter 4, verse 16, the Bible says, let us come boldly into the throne of grace. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of trouble. You know, I want us to read that scripture and uh, let's look into it. Hebrews chapter um, 4 verse 16. You know, people of prayer, people who has the audacity that can come in and pray. Hallelujah. Because God is looking for people of prayer. And we're going to look at a scenario where what we are facing at this moment. Are, are you there? 
Pastor Tayo. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Hallelujah. Let me quickly. Okay, if you are there, you can read it out and loud. Bible says, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weakness, but we have one who has been tempted in every way. Every way. Just yeah. as we have. Yeah. Yet it did not sin. Is it Hebrews chapter 4, 16. verse 16? Okay, I'm looking for what which one is said. Let us approach God's throne. Let us approach God's throne. What? How? Oh. says, Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence. With confidence, with so, no. So that we may receive mercy and mm. find grace to help us in our time of need. In our time of need. So we are, everybody is in need at this moment. It's a critical time. So the Bible says we should come in. God is looking for people of prayer. Hallelujah. He's looking for intercessor. Amen. He's looking for somebody who is going to lift up a, a cry unto God Hallelujah. at this time and this season. Hallelujah. And lastly, God is looking for a prophetic people. People who will speak the word of God at all times. Who will not speak what the situation is saying, but who will speak the mind of God. Mm -hmm. You know, who will speak the, into the future. Who will give assurance um, about the situation we are facing right now. You may be sick in your body. God is looking for prophetic people. Can we open our Bible to the book of Psalm? Psalm chapter uh, 74 verse 9. Psalm 74 verse 9. And look at what God is looking for. We are going to pray. We're going to pray. This is a service. This is interactive. If you have any prayer point and if you have any comment, uh, you can comment on this uh, line as well. God bless you. Thank you for joining in. I could see uh, Pastor Olumide. God bless you. Olapeju. God bless you. Um, uh, God bless you, my sister. There are two Peju there, sister. Peju, God bless you. Uh, Kasumu, God bless you. It's been a while. So we are, we are praying uh, tonight. Psalm 74 verse 9. God is looking for prophetic people. Psalm 74 verse 9. Amen. The place of faith is a place of protection. Are we there? Hallelujah. Let me read it. We are given no signs from God. No signs from God. We are given no signs from God. Which version is that? NIV. NIV. Okay. No prophets. No prophets. Yet. And none of us know how long this will be. None of us know how long will be. So, if there is no prophet, we don't know when the situation you are going through is going to end. And a prophet, when we talk about prophet, is not one big man of God somewhere. God has called you to be a prophet. You are a mouthpiece of God. You can speak all of the mind of God. And the Bible says God will not do anything except He's revealing to His servant, the prophet. That's in the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse, three, uh, verse 7. You know, you come in agreement with God and God will reveal His mind to you concerning your situation, concerning your family, concerning your health, concerning your future, concerning your career, concerning your business. Hallelujah. So very soon, like God told me this morning, uh, this few minutes ago, that we should organize a business and career prayer section. So we're going to be coming with a plan concerning that every Saturday morning. We're going to be praying for career and business. Where know anybody that wants to be a uh, blossom in their career. So we will embark on that uh, by the month of April. And we're going to be doing that. Now, let's look at the story, interesting story. How to end crisis in your life. Hallelujah. Sometimes you face a situation you don't, uh, you, you, are, you didn't plan for. And the Bible says, let's go to the book of Isaiah 37. Isaiah chapter 37. We're going to be looking at how a person of faith, a prayer person, and a prophetic person can overcome the enemy. Hallelujah. It's a story of, uh, of, um, of, uh, of uh, Ezekiah and, uh, and a threat from uh, Zeni, Zena Sherib. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in verse 1, it's a quick story. I'm going to read it because of time. Hallelujah. Let's look at verse 1. 
It's an interesting story. You will see that coronavirus will go right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It will, it will, be, it will be fizzled out from the face of the earth. Because when the people of faith stand up, people of faith are the people of power. Because faith is one of the spiritual gifts in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12. When you have faith, you can move mountains. When you have faith, you can speak to situation and it will obey you. Hallelujah. People of faith are dynamite people. They, are, they can break barrier. People of faith will say, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. They can do all things. There is no impossibility with people of faith. Hallelujah. Because they move in the realm of God. They move the way God moves. God is our, our God is a God of faith. And the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, it says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. God. Hallelujah. Amen. He that comes to him must believe, believe that he is and is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hallelujah. It takes faith to go along with God, to Hallelujah. diligently seek Him, Glory. to be consistently seek Him until you see results. Hallelujah. Persistency pay in the realm of faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Now let's look at Isaiah chapter 37 verse 1. The Bible says, It came to pass when King Ezekiah heard that he had it and he tore his clothes. He covered himself with sadlock, and he went into the house of God. Hallelujah. I love this story. You know, sometimes you, you may go, you may hear something. Uh, what did he hear? He had something that is not in agenda to the will of God. He heard about coronavirus eh, that is invading the land. Eh. What did he do? The Bible says he tore his clothes. He covered himself. He protect himself. Eh? He quarantined himself. Hallelujah. And the Bible says he went into the place of prayer. He went into the house of God. Mm -hmm. He went into the house of God. He didn't, you know, he went into God's chamber, the presence of God. It's the safest place. It takes faith to go into the presence of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you need to believe. He, he, he knows what he believed. The Bible says he went into the house of God. And the Bible says in verse 2, He sent Eliakim, who was the who was the household, who was the household and Sheben the scribe, and the elder of the priest, covered with Silock, to Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Now, Isaiah represented uh, prophetic um, status in the land. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you want to connect to, you have to connect your prayer to prophetic. So you don't pray alone. The Bible say he sent, he went into the house of God mm -hmm. and he look at your prophetic voice because it's only the prophet that can declare the end of a thing. It's only the prophet that can say how long will the situation is. Hallelujah. And the Bible says he sent to Isaiah the prophet. Now we are going to uh, 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 you know, you know, take up opportunity and use the prophetic to end. When you when prophetic is powerful, when you move in the realm of prophetic, you cannot be stopped because you are moving in the realm of uh, power. You are moving in the realm of God, supernatural. The Bible says death and life are in the power of tongue. When the person who carry prophetic anointing speaks, it, it comes to pass. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that the prophetic anointing is upon your life. Amen. It's upon your life. You Immediately you give your life to Christ. The Spirit of God comes into you. It's the spirit of a, of, of a prophet. Amen. It's a prophetic spirit. It's the spirit that speaks. And it's the spirit that connects to faith. According to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. Amen. And the Bible says, they believe they spoke. We too we believe we speak. And when you speak, something happens. My God, mm. when we speak the word of God, something happens. We are not mm. speaking our word. We are speaking the word of God. Mm. And when you speak the word of God, eh, things happen. I love what the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 22, verse 29. We can quickly look at that before we continue. Jeremiah, chapter 22, verse 9. Look at what the word of God is to you. What the word of God is. Uh, we're going to read it. Are, are you there? 
Alléluia. Jeremiah mm. chapter. Let me quickly read it. Jeremiah chapter. Glory be to God. Le prochain de le brocha kapa. Jeremiah 22. I will quickly read that. Amen. I believe you have been blessed tonight. You have been blessed. Yes. You know, some people come to me and they, want, they are speaking. I, the only thing I know how to speak is the word of faith. Mm -hmm. It makes you feel the presence of God. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 22, verse, nine. verse 29. Verse 29. Is it, okay. Is it, okay. No. Uh, Jeremiah 22, verse 29. It's prophetic as well. The Bible says, O land, O land, hear the word of the Lord. Mm. O land, O earth, hear the word of the Lord. Mm. So the earth can hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. The mm. word of God is powerful. And not only that, 23, verse 29. That's uh, another one I want us to look into. 23, verse 29. Mm. He said, um, uh, look at what he said. Is not my word like fire? Hallelujah. Is not my word like fire? Is not my word like fire? Is the word of God is like fire? Hallelujah. So when you release the word of God, it burns down every shaft. Look at what he said. Is not my word like fire? Says the Lord. Is it not like armor that break rock in pieces? It breaks rock, everything, every stubborn problem. Mm. The word of God can penetrate through them Amen. and cause them to, to break into pieces. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Every stubborn situation in your life, right now, we receive the word of God. As we begin to pray, you will begin to see that we have laid a foundation and it come to pass. Let me quickly, let's quickly look at um, the, this story. And we see, I want you to notice this. Ezekiah heard bad news. He didn't allow it to enter him. He went into the house of God. Now, why did he eradicate the bad news? He sent for prophet Isaiah. And what a prophet Isaiah said, prophetic. Now, how do you know the word of a prophet? Three things. Second, uh, First Corinthians chapter 14 tells us, when the prophet speaks, he brings edification. It brings comfort into our life, mm -hmm. and it brings consoli uh, uh, consolidation. Mm -hmm. So it consoles you, it edifies you, mm -hmm. and it speaks peace into your future. Mm -hmm. So anybody that comes with the word of prophet that disturbs your mind, that say no, and he try to intimidate you, is not a prophet from God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Because God has not given us the spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. Look at what I, Ezekiel, uh, when he sent for Isaiah, verse 3. They said to him, Thus says Ezekiah. This is what Ezekiah was saying. Mm -hmm. This is a day of trouble. We are in the season of trouble. No doubt about it. Mm -hmm. And of rebuke. And of blasphemy. Mm -hmm. For the church to bat. There is no strength to bring forth. Mm -hmm. People are weak. So many people have been paralyzed. Family have been... Have been, have been targeted them. You know, so many people has died. They have lost uh, their loved one. And in this season, so many deaths, every time we hear the news, uh, we know nobody can prophesy. We could see that this situation where we are at the moment is a critical time. So many people and the sick bed, they are hoping, oh Lord, for their loved one to come back to life. The Bible says, this is the situation. We are in the day of trouble. People have been paralyzed. There is no strength to give back. There is no strength to continue. So what is the word of God? What is God saying? What is God saying? What is the mind of God at this time before you go into the place of prayer? Because I am in the house of God. I have sent to you, Prophet Isaiah, tell me what is God saying? And I love the next the, uh, what, the, what the prophet Isaiah said. Uh, let's go to verse 6. The Bible says, Isaiah said to them, Thus shall you say to your master, this is what you will say to your master who is in trouble. Thus says the Lord, what is the mind of God? Do 
not be afraid of the word, of the threats of coronavirus. Do not be afraid. First thing, a prophetic eradicate fear. Because fear paralyzes. The word of God always empowers us over fear, to overcome fear. He said, do not be afraid, verse 6, of the word that you have heard. Do not be afraid of the word that you have heard in the news. Do not be afraid of the word you have heard about the nations. The Bible says, thousand will fall at your right hand, ten thousand at your left hand. They will not come near you. Amen. Hallelujah. Do not be afraid of the word you have heard, which which the servant of the king of Assyria has blasphemed me. Every battle against you is not really against you, it's against God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says, listen, I will put a spirit in him so that he shall hear a rumor. This is God is putting a spirit in that situation that is confronting you and your family, that is confronting the nation. And he shall return to his own land. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, come this 19, we return back to where it's coming from. You will return Jesus. back to abyss. You will return back to the pit of hell. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He said, he will return to back to his own land. I will cause him to fall. Hallelujah. By the sword in his own hand. Amen. I will cause him to fall. That is prophetic. So the Bible said, so Rab Shaker, the servant returned and found the king Assyria warring in Lebanon. Mm. He may be warring in another nation, mm -hmm. but he will not war, war in your family. Mm. The Bible says he was warring, for he has heard that the king has left left his. The Bible says he heard that concerning he has warring in another nation. Zenai. Sherab, uh, Sherib, or what is his name, has conquered so many nations, but he has come to the end mm -hmm. for him to touch the anointed. And the Bible says, touch no my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he has come to an end. Amen. To has come to his end. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He has come to the place where he cannot triumph. Amen. We need to put a stop to the plague in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I love verse 14. There was a threat. I don't want us to read the threat because we need to pray. There was a threat. Glory be to God. But how do you undo a threat? Look at verse 14. No, 14, number one. We have already told us fear. Don't entertain fear. Be a person of faith. God bless you. Secondly, verse 14. The Bible says, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 14. Then Ezekiah received a letter from the hand of the messenger. And he read it. Then Ezekiah went to the house of the Lord. And he spread it before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he prayed to the Lord, saying, O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, a covenant God, mm -hmm. O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, you need to spread your prayer point. Mm -hmm. You need to spread your fear. Mm -hmm. I don't know what letter you have received. I don't know what has attacked you, has touched the apple of, your, of, of God's eyes. Eh? The Bible says he spread it before the Lord. And when he spread it before the Lord, it's just in a short time, mm. the prophecy came to pass. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. He spread it. Verse 21. When he spread it, you know, prayer, before you, so many people prophesy and they have not been in the presence of God. Mm. There is a spirit beyond prophecy. It's a spirit of prayer. 
if you want the word of God to be effective mm. where you are sending it to, mm. you need to pray the word of God before you go into mm. prophetic. Mm. The Bible says when he has prayed, mm. now it gives you know platform for the prophetic to be effective. Mm. For the speaking of the word of God, the mind of God into that situation. Mm -hmm. Ezekiah prayed. Now, verse 21. Isaiah, the son of Amos, sent to Ezekiah, saying, Thus says the Lord of Israel, mm. because you have prayed, mm. you did not entertain fear. Because you have prayed to me mm. about coronavirus. Because you have prayed to me about that situation. Prayer gives a platform for prophetic to be effective. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, Isaiah is received. Say, look, you have passed it on to the realm of prophetic. The Bible says, because you have prayed about Senasherim, that's verse 21. Verse 22 says, this is the word which the Lord has spoken against him. He said, A virgin, the virgin daughter of Zion, has despised you and has mocked you. And the daughter of Jerusalem has shaken her, her head at you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are speaking the same thing against the situation we are facing at this moment. He said, whom you have reproached. You have reproached the daughter of Zion. And the daughter of Zion has despised you, has mocked you. We mocked coronavirus at this moment. In the name of Jesus. Hmm. And the Bible says, whom you have reproached and blasphemed. And against whom you have raised your voice. And you have lifted your eyes utterly. Against the only one of Israel. Though your servant has reproached, has reproached the Lord and said, With many chariots I have come. And he said a boastful word. Mm. He said, I have come to the height of the mountain, to the remote part of the Lebanon. I will cut down its tall cedar and its choice fig tree. I will go to the highest peak. In a ticket, I will dug well and drunk water. The, the with the soles of my feet, I have dried up on the river of Egypt. Mm. You might be boasted about his achievement to the nation, but when it comes to you, because we are rock of offense, yeah. the Bible calls us the living stones. That whosoever we uh, that fall upon to us, we fall, and whatever we fall upon shall be crushed into pieces. Hallelujah. We are rock of offense. The Bible says in verse 26, Have you not heard? Long time ago, I have done it. From ancient time, I have formed it. It began to boast of his achievement. I have touched the nation of China. I have touched this nation. I have touched this uh, nation. This, uh, you will come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So tonight we are going to be praying. It began to rage. We are going to be praying. We are going to be praying the mind of God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says this shall be the sign to you. That we are going to be. Be fruitful in this season. Amen. It's a season of opportunity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are going to be praying. We are going to pray to. We are going to cry to God. At this moment, every effect that has confined us into a place, confinement is not the idea of God. Mm -mm. Hallelujah. Amen. It's like a prison. Mm. Nation has been confined. Mm. Business has been confined. But you are going to pray to the God of breakthrough. Yes, Lord. He will cause us to break out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want us to begin to lift up our voice and begin to pray right now in the name of Jesus. Last sickness, we are, we are praying for recovery. The Bible says, if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves in the name of Jesus. We have seen the end there 
of this story. If you see this end, God, Bible says in verse 36, we are going to see the end. The end is as Zenabba was killed, and the all is effect in angel were killed by an angel. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are going to pray. We are going to pray right now. I want you to begin to pray, Lord, prepare me in the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon my household. In the name of Jesus. Have mercy upon the land. In the mighty name of Jesus. Le prosha katuria prashokopa. Le katali brosha kali brosha ka. Father, we cry at this moment. Let your mercy prevail. In the name of Jesus. Le prosha katuria prasha kata. Yang kali brosha le brosha katalia. Ma le prosha kali brosha kali brosha ka. Let your mercy begin to flow. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Le pro shakata le bro shakale. Mankori bro shakale bro. Let the spirit of prayer, spirit of supplication, spirit of intercession, all of feel, oh Lord, our land. In the name of Jesus. Le brosha katali brosha kal, man koprende le brosha kali brosha kali, man kali brosha kali brosha kali, man kori brosha kali, man kori brosha kali brosha kori. Father, we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We lift up your holy name. We lift up your holy name in the name of Jesus. Let begin to stir up, oh Lord. The fire of God. We stir up the fire of God. We stir up the fire of God. We stir up the fire of God. To begin to consume anything that is not of God. To begin to consume the plague in our land. In the name of Jesus. People of faith begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, people of faith begin to intercede. God will make you strong. God will make you strong. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive the strength of God. Receive the strength of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Male brosha kali brosha kopra le katale brosha kali brosha ka mankori brosha kali brosha ka male brosha kali brosha ka mankori apali brosha nde ye katale bro come on begin to pray ya katale brosha kali mankori want to see signs and wonder in the name of Jesus eh ya kali brosha le brosha ka mankori basa the yoke of the enemy is being broken right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah 30, verse 10. The Bible says, Therefore do not fear, O my servant Jacob, says the Lord. Do not be dismayed. O Israel, mm. for I will save you from afar. Mm. I don't know where you are. God is near to you. Mm. God may be far from you. God is ready to save you. Mm. It doesn't matter how the situation is. He said, do not fear, for I will save you from afar. Your seed from the land of their captivity. Mm. They shall, they, they, and no one shall make you afraid. No one shall make you afraid. I want you to begin to declare. Let the promises of God be fulfilled in my life. In the name of Jesus. Look at what he said. For in verse 11, for I am with you. God say he is with you. 
Somebody, you need to hear the word of faith. It's not all about bad news. Let's focus. Let's move from fear zone to faith zone. Let's begin to declare what the word of God says to me and you. He's saying to us at this moment that I will be with you. Somebody say, God is with me. God is In other words, it's our Emmanuel. Hallelujah. He said, he will not leave us nor forsake us. Amen. Verse 11 says, I will be with you to save you. To save you. What save mean? You know, to be delivered. Glory. To be rescued. Yes, Lord. To be set up. To be lifted up. To be successful. He said, I'm going to save you. Although... I will make a full end of the nation which I have scattered you. Yet, I will not make a full end of you. Mm. This is not your end. Mm -hmm. This is not your end of any of your member of your family. Amen. I, they will not go with this coronavirus. Amen. In the name Jesus. of Jesus. Amen. You see, I will not make an end of you, but I will make an end of that situation. Amen. Of that, that the, what has confined you, I will make an end of it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to begin to play. Lord, make an end of coronavirus in my life. Jesus, I don't want to hear it in the mighty name of Jesus. I will live to fulfill the will of God. I will not die but live to declare the word of God. And my all the days of my life will I fulfill. God said he will satisfy me with long life. God will make an end then of that situation. Every situation have an expired end. Expired date. An end has come. No, no, it's a new season for us. We are entering into a new season. Season of glory. Season of power. Season of breakthrough. Season of financial blessing. Father, we give you praise. Le prosha ta le prosha ka. Ma le prosha ko prenderim. Ma le prosha ko le prosha ka. Le prosha ka ta le prosha ke. This is the time of encounter. Somebody you will encounter God tonight. In the name of Jesus. Every dream manipulator is going to put an end to them. In the name of Jesus. Every embargo placed upon you is scattered. In the name of Jesus. We scatter in the name of Jesus. Malepo sakali broshaka, makoprondele broshaka, makoria pali broshaka, yakali brosheka li brosheke. Father, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We are prayer ministry, and I will believe in the mandate that God has put upon place upon us. We are an apostolic ministry. We carry the power of God to uproot, to destroy, O oh Lord, to break through. Hallelujah! Amen. To inflict, O oh Lord, losses into the kingdom of darkness. Amen. To terrify every ounce. We are going to be praying that prayer right now in the book of Zechariah. We are going to terrify every ounce that have subdued this our nation, that have subdued our nation. In the book of Zechariah chapter 1, I'm going to read this to us, and we're going to pray. The Bible says, Then I lifted up my eyes. Mm -hmm. Somebody, you need to be lifted. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Your vision, you need to pray for your restoration. Mm -hmm. He said, I saw four ounce. Mm -hmm. He said, and I asked the angel, speaking to me, what are these? He said, this, he answered, these are the ones that has scattered Judea, that has confined people, that have made them not to see, oh Lord, go to, the, to do what God has intended. He has scattered Judea, he has scattered Israel, and he has scattered Jerusalem. Mm. That is not the end. Mm. Coronavirus cannot win. Amen. That situation cannot win. Amen. That's not the end of the vision. Amen. And the Bible says in verse 20, Then the Lord showed me four craftsmen. Hallelujah. I, wish, I pray that God will show you your solution. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Amen. He will show you your destiny helpers. Amen. He will show you the person that you go along with Hallelujah. to fulfill your vision. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, He showed me. He said, And I, I said, 
What are these coming to do? They have a mission. You know, God told us that we have the apostolic and craftsmen of the ministry. And that is the purpose. That are we are significant in the face of time. We are in the kingdom for such a time like this. To deal with principalities and power. Spiritual wickedness in high places. So we carry the full armor of God. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible say, and it said to me, what are these coming to do? He said, these are the ones that scatter the Judeas, Judah, which are no one could lift up, raise up his head. And these craftsmen are coming to terrify. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And throw down, and throw down the ones of the nation who lifted up the ones against the land mm. to scatter it. Mm. Every arm that has been lifted up to, to, uh, to, to throw you or to, to scatter you, to scatter your family, to put you oh Lord, in the place of weeping and sorrow and pain. I pray today, I terrify that on. I break that on. I mm. command that on to be broken into the pieces. Mm. I cut off that on, mm. say, power right mm. in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to lift up our voice. And Pray, Lord, and I decree victory, O oh Lord. I decree victory, O oh Lord, and over every aunt, every over sickness and disease. I command, O oh Lord, victory for my household, victory for my brother and sisters, and victory for the people of God in the name of Jesus. Man le pronsen de le brocha coprandea, man cori brocha cali brocha caleba, man cori a prosha cali brocha cori. All power belong to God in the name of Jesus. Father, let your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. Let your name be exalted. Let your name be exalted. Let your name be exalted. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm so excited about what God has started to do in, at this time. This it is a wake-up call for us. Hallelujah. Because when believers begin to pray, it's moving us into the place of celebration. It has happened before. The Bible says, For we know that all things work together for good for us. Hallelujah. Amen. All things are working together for good for us. Amen. God is going to give back to a new thing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We, I just want to appreciate you for joining in tonight. And I believe you have been blessed. And I've just released the blessings of God upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Like I said to us, we are. this is IPAM, Kingdom Advancer. This is our, so we do our services every Thursdays. But we are coming online to, your, to you wherever you are. And that this is a time of new partnership, new connection, hallelujah, to make a global impact together. And I want you to just appreciate God for this ministry because he's going places. And I, uh, we, we're glad that you connect with us today. We have a page, IPAM page. You can like it. And uh, we, we believe that you, there are so many resources, prayers on, online that you can benefit from. And it's going to do you a lot of blessing when people need prayer at this time there are so many videos on my page as well i've done a lot of videos i meet every night at 11 45 sunday to thursday so to, so to say every thursday um, every week monday to thursday to do midnight prayers and we're dealing with uh, the power of prophetic uh, intercession what can happen in your life when we embrace prophetic intercession is the highest form of uh, you know rank in the kingdom mm. when you become a prophet a mouthpiece of god and you begin to see results in your life and in your ministry in your family in your business and god will bless you tremendously hallelujah so we're, we're glad that you you join us today and um we're glad oh lord that we can you know do this together because God, we cannot do it on our own. And God will bless you. If you want to support the ministry, you can support. You can just um, let us know. Partner with us. What we do is that we go to the nation. We build an altars. We go to Ghana. We go to Nigeria, U.S. 
as uh, as many as the as many places that God has sent us according to the book of uh, uh, Matthew chapter ten. But obviously, there is a place God intended to go, and is sending us ahead. Is uh, and how we have to obey, and God will bless you because the harvest is truly plenty, and the laborer are few. We have chosen to be part of the laborer, and you can become a co-laborer with us by partnering with us and supporting us, and together we move the kingdom forward. God bless you mightily for joining in today. And uh, you know, from uh, our heart to yours, we always pray for you that God will keep you safe Amen. in this season and in this time. Amen. Amen. You are going to succeed. Amen. You, your, your mouth will be filled with testimony Amen. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. May God cause his face to shine upon you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. May goodness and mercy always follow you all the days of your life. And you shall, uh, you shall dwell in the house of God forever and ever. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Bumi. Thank you, everyone that have joined tonight. God bless you. God bless you. I really appreciate you. Let's meet next Thursday. We are going to be coming online every Thursday evening for this uh, 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 um, prayer online of uh, IPAM Kingdom Advancer. God bless you. Amen.